finally banned lesbians. They were all combat tricks, every <laughs> one of them. Sometimes in a place to make progress, we get stuck, trapped in the stress. Stepping back, we can see how to clear this mess. That's why we choose to regress. We can lead men try Making decks from packs, but All the cards they use die Our collection's regressing will help us see The path to grass batteries With the help of AI We will try from new designs Our dream regression Now online I got a question for you. What's the question? Can you say the basal basilicus basking basilisk basis basks in the basis basilisk basilica basal five times fast? Uh, the basal basilica basilisk basking in the... I forgot what it was. I legitimately forgot what it was. That's fine. Don't worry about it. That can be an exercise for the audience. Comment down below if you fucked it up like the dipshit that you are. <laughs> Shoutouts to dipshits. Shoutouts to dipshits. Oh man, I love the the old Mario Maker video on my channel where I'm playing a Mario Maker puzzle and I completely, utterly solve it wrong. And the YouTube thumbnail is just a big red arrow pointing to my face and the words, I'm a dipshit? <laughs> what is Question this? mark? Hold on, I need to- I need to know that this is real. It's unlisted because it's pre-VTuber times. Oh my god, dipshit? Dipshit? Question mark, question mark, question mark. <laughs> there were three question marks, I forgot that. I love this dipshit. <laughs> it's such a good thumbnail. I need to reuse this concept for something. Dipshit? Dipshit? How were your polls, Ada? How was your drive? Uh, 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 sorry, is there a police siren in the background? Oh my god, you heard that. Yeah, there is a... Uh, sorry, like... I, are the cat police coming for you because you haven't been a good girl? What? No. No, I, That's I stay good. under the radar. That's good. I thought they might have found out about the arson. Uh, I'm glad <laughs> that you're staying under the radar. This is this, stupid. This Can is we... a little goofy. Do you have any more bits, or should we just go to the fucking let, let, cards? Let's just, let's just go to the cards. We're going out of the theme zone and into the green zone, which is what I've renamed the dream zone only for this episode, because it's green. Hot green? Have you ever actually fucking watched this show? <laughs> Isn't it like a purple background? It, it literally changes from a purple background to a green background every time we go into the, the, the dream zone. Is it is it fucked up that I recognize? <laughs> I know your secret, Ada. Yeah, well, I'm fucking editing this bit out of the episode, so no one else will. <laughs> I know your crimes. Oh. I love this Crash Dummy Synchron. It's not a crack, whatever. <laughs> All right, Paladin Synchron, a light level two machine tuner with 1800 defense. It's really nice. If an opponent's monster is synchro summoned, you can special summon this card in defense position. You can only use one of the following effects of this card per turn and only once per turn. If an opponent's synchro monster attacks this card, negate the attack. If an opponent's monster declares an attack, you can change the attack target to this card. Oh, that's really neat. I like this. I like the effect. It's fun. And also it's cute. It's extremely cute. It's pretty cute. I love Crash Dummy Coon. It's it's not a Crash Dummy. And I don't... That's fine. That's fine. We're moving on. <laughs> moving on. Gloaming Night. It's Gloaming Night. The six star, 2500. Warrior Synchro Effect. One tuner and one or more non-tuner monsters. If your opponent controls a monster while you control no monsters, you can also Synchro Summon this monster by banishing a monster from your hand and graveyard, including one tuner and one non-tuner, whose total levels equal six. While this card's in the graveyard, you can banish monsters from your graveyard whose total levels are six or higher. Shuffle this card into the extra deck. 
such a cool effect. I love gloaming night. What does gloam mean? I don't know. I don't know what gloaming means. <laughs> uh, let's see. Definitions of gloam. The time of day immediately following sunset. Synonyms. Crepuscle. Crepuscule. Dusk. Yes, that's crepuscule. Crepuscule? As in, as in crepuscular. Crepuscular. Do you, do you not know? A, a crepuscular animal is one that's active at dawn and dusk. Oh, I don't. I did not know that. That's the opposite of me. You're awake in the night and the day, and not at dawn and dusk. Uh. Anyway, it's a cool card. It's also yeah, really we, good. It's pretty straightforwardly good. So let's just let's just grab this one. Mismatched outfit. Oh no, she's wearing an outfit that doesn't match. Uh, quick play spell card. Until the end of this turn, during damage calculation only, all monsters' attack and defense become whichever is less between their attack and defense. This is a fun card. I love this. Also, yeah, it's this... got not Hatsune Miku. No, it's it's Miku. She's just sad because she got her outfit wrong. <laughs> it's got Hatsune Miku. Good. Good card. I love this. The question, though. The real question of the hour. Why'd she get her outfit wrong? <laughs> it's because... <laughs> Wait. Daylight savings? Normal trap? Hold on. I'm so distracted by this art. I love everything about this art right now. I painted this entire thing. This, this is 100% data. This is so amazing. Uh... Skip your and your opponent's next main phase one. You can banish this card from your graveyard, draw a card. I think this is actually a super good card. It's neat. But also the art is so good. I mean, I hate, I don't observe daylight savings time where I am, so like, But relatable. Miku does, and that's what's wrong with this world. Yeah, why do we subject- We need to abolish daylight savings for Miku. Okay, but like, unironically, we need to abolish Daylight Saving. Anyway, that, that's a rant for another day. Next card. I was really surprised when the AI gave me this effect. It's a weird combination of effects, but it's it's pretty cool. I was really inspired by this one. Oh. Eighth life to give. Wait, this is a really cool concept. All right. All right. So there's a cat. It's a dark beast with one level. Oh, it's specifically a cat staring back through a broken mirror. Oh. Oh my god. This is existent. Anyway, if you tribute someone a monster, you can send this card in your hand to the graveyard to treat it as up to two tributes for the tribute summon. That's pretty good. When this card is normal summoned, you can pay half your life points to special summon one level four or lower non-tuner monster from either player's graveyard. This feels like a really strong effect on either effect. It has potential. It might be better in the Xyz era. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Actually, yeah, 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 yeah. Because you can make a level one Xyz. I mean, it's not like the special summoning effect is bad now. It's just like it doesn't immediately combo off. You need to have other stuff to help it combo off. Yeah. You need like a graveyard setup. Pretty cool though. Yeah. No, I love this card. I do. I do think this is almost the best card of the set so far. <laughs> right behind oh. Gloaming Knight. On the subject of Gloaming Knight, do you want to see the other Synchro? Yeah, let's see the other Synchro. So this is going to be a weird one because, okay, okay, okay. I generated an effect for a card. And then I went to make a name based on that effect. Because again, I don't let the... It, listen, if, if, I, if it was up to the AI, this card would have been named Watt Giraffe. <laughs> no joke. <laughs> That's the name it came up. It came up with Watt Giraffe, which is already a card, which does a different thing. So I came up with a new name for that card based on the art. And then I went to do some art based on that card. But I got really into it. I got really into the painting. And by the time I was done, it was just like, this art completely did not fit with what I was given. So I had to come up with a new effect that was like befitting of the card art. And then I needed to come up with a new name based on both of those. So we were like five steps removed from the AI's work, but it's still something that I could never have come up with on my own. Anyway, uh, that's how the creative process goes. And this is that card. The 
This was a Watt Giraffe prototype? Okay, hold on. What? The Unknowable Beyond the Fog Water Level 8 Synchro Dragon, unaffected by other card effects, cannot be tributed or used as material for a summon. I like that. I like that. I like that. Cannot leave the extra deck except by Synchro Summon. Other monsters' effects can't activate during the battle phase. If this is the only monster on the field, your opponent's monsters can attack you directly. This card can't attack directly. If this card battles a monster, banish that monster face down. During your second standby phase after this card is synchro summoned, return to the extra deck. This is an interesting card. Hey, Ada, this is a good out to things. It's bigger than this battle. It just shows up to take a look at it, pause anything that touches it out of this universe, and then pieces out. Being level 8 kind of looks like it might hurt, but unless we get really good level 8 synchro engines going, which the set had a lot of enabling of that. But we'll find that out when we get to the pulling card zone. So, we got one more. Uno mas. Uno, uno, uno mas. Revealing the writhing and wriggling. Oh, yeah. Continuous spell card. Uh, some dipshit is pulling up a rock and messing with some worms. And Hatsune Miku is there. <laughs> yeah, Hatsune. <laughs> like she was, she was doing a concert for the worms. That's true. Uh... If a monster is set or special summoned in face down defense position, you can change it to face up attack or defense position. It's a neat card. I like it. It's like literally the opposite of stumbling or something. It's not. It's not the op. Fun card. I love worm support. Hey. Huh. I, I deliberately posted this tweet at a time I knew you wouldn't see it. Oh no. Let's see. Basically, the concept is that a child is lifting up a rock to get at the worms crawling underneath. Oh, that makes sense. Hey, I think you should also draw a little Hatsune Miku fleeing the scene. What? She was holding a concert for the worms. Lily, Ada. Yeah, okay. Uh, Lily's a genius. <laughs> I simply think that that enhances the experience a lot. So having done this is the reason that I fucking drew Hatsune Miku on, the, uh, on all of the other cards, too. <laughs> With the exception of the unknowable, where there is a tiny figure on a rock, and that tiny figure is Warrior Digrapher. Oh, is that who it is? Hold on, I gotta zoom. Oh, it is! Yeah, you, yeah, you, gotta, you gotta really zoom in for that, but... I love it. Good genius, genius plan. Okay, but what if... I have a conspiracy theory to share with you. What if Miku is in the unknowable beyond the fog? <laughs> The noise that I just heard over Discord. Is yeah, so funny. what if? What if, man? Maybe. <laughs> uh, anyway, you want to? You want to? You want to draft these? Yeah, let's draft. So yeah, on in terms of the draft, I won the previous episode with the, with the power of being fucking a normal ass person. Fucking goddamn it! I'm I'm normal. I'm normal. <laughs> yeah. So anyway, I'm going to do the normal thing and pick gloaming night. That is absolutely the normal thing. I'm gonna do. The abnormal, unknowable thing. I'm gonna pick the unknowable beyond the fog. Honestly, that makes a lot of sense. It's Hatsune Miku. How can I not? Unfortunately, I think I gotta go with the one with the worst art out of this set. Which, Which is to is say, Paladin Synchron. Not Crash Dummy Coon. Crash. It's it's clearly prototype Profit Bot. Profit Bot. Oh my god, you still need to play one shot. Oh yeah, I haven't like I started it for like two hours and then No! Nico! Nico's dying in there, Rika! No, it's fine! It's fine. Anyway, I think it'll enable a lot of things down the road. I'm gonna pick eighth life to give. Okay. It, this is not biased because there's a cat on it. I promise. This is tough. Mismatched outfit really appeals to my love of combat tricks. Daylight Savings really applies to my love of drawing cards and stopping stuff. 
and revealing the writhing and wriggling really appeals to my love of horse shit that isn't good. <laughs> I absolutely understand you. I think I have to go with the little Hatsune Miku running out of underneath a rock. Oh my god. <laughs> you got mismatched outfit in Daylight Saving. I'm glad because I did want both of those cards and I didn't know which one to pick, so you made the decision for me. Though I did really want Daylight Savings. I thought of picking that over the cat. I wanted the cat also, is the thing. Well, you got Gloaming Night. I'll tell you right now. I don't think I would have picked Gloaming Night if I hadn't gotten a different level 8 synchro out of this set. Oh. Uh, no spoilers, Ada. Don't worry, it's not a good one. It's just a level 8 synchro. I just needed to have one. Everyone gets one. Everyone gets one. Except for me, who gets... One. <laughs> I used to have another one, you know, but then it died. It died in the great Stardust Dragon getting banned incident of episode six. I... We're all very <sighs> sad. Where I, I'm very sad after pulling two Stardust Dragons out of my gold rare set. Before we get too far into discussing our pulls, we gotta go back in time so we can show the viewer those pulls. Yeah. Till the pulling cards zone. The pulling cards zone. I forgot You're doing there's no this jingle on purpose. here. You, you, I forgot you there's no jingle for this you one. Remember, you remembered. You remembered. <laughs> it's a habit! How? What is the d d <laughs> The power of darkness shines up from the void. The shining darkness offers a soul lot. The Infernity Archetype makes use of several powerful effects that require an empty hand. And this is the time it becomes playable. It requires a lot of high rarity cards, but one thing any Infernity player will have is Break which with an empty hand can destroy any card by banishing an infernity from grave. And a phantom hand can cheat requirements by temporarily banishing your hand. Palomuro and Pashul push X-Sabers towards having a full set of names worth playing. Perhaps the real standouts, though, that people are likely to have access to are Spore and Ronin Toten. These cards can summon themselves out of the grave by banishing, respectively, a plant or a frog going a long way towards revitalizing those strategies. Spore has spent a lot of time on the ban list, and Rodentoden's banned now. And while Genex is generally a weak archetype, Genex Undyne can dump a water monster from deck to grave, allowing out of their way for water engines like frogs to get going. And at short print, Chaos Trap Hole can banish any light or dark monster on summon, albeit at a hefty cost. At the rares, Genex Searcher is a Genex Recruiter, Backlash is a bad mirror for us, kinda, and Infernity Avenger and Revival Rose can resummon themselves in response to relevant cards being destroyed. For the higher rarities, we see strategies crystallize. Infernity Launcher and Infernity Mirage are both double reborns with no cards in hand, while Launcher also helps empty your hand. While Zero Max is a single reborn that can also wipe the field if you picks up something big enough. Bog Art Knight can allow X Sabers to rush the field, and Bird of Roses is a recruiter for any two plant tuners. Nimble, Nimble Sunfish can dump fish and recruit more copies of itself, but given it's super, you probably won't have to. Moving to Ultras, Infernity Doom Dragon is a powerful Synchro 8. Breeze the Zephyr revitalizes Black Wings with a tuner that summons itself when searched off Black Whirlwind, and Dark Soul can search out more X Sabers. Into the Void is also theoretically more Infernity support, but more realistically it's just an incredibly powerful tool for any deck that can set its hand. As for the secrets, Wave Motion Inferno is a field buff that can empty your hand, while Infernity Barrier is an Omni Negate while your hand is empty and you have an Infernity monster. And while the Gen X archetype doesn't have much potential, Gen X Neutron is a standalone card that can search machine tuners. Also, Sniffus is bad, but it's the funny little guy from that grass looks greener, so there's that too. But let's not forget gold series now. Malicious and Destiny Draw are at their most affordable here, and any Blackwings we missed can be picked up easily. 
Goblin Zombie, meanwhile, is very likely a, the best recruiter a deck this time could ask for, searching regardless of how it's sent from Field of the Grave, not missing timing of Saint. Infernity Guardian is even here, being indestructible with an empty hand, while some of these worm cards almost very nearly approach kinda being vaguely playable-ish. At the rares, though, Mizukis make zombies worth using, Plague Spreader is a zombie that is worth using, Ryo is a 1900 that is also a crazy floodgate, Gale and Stardust are so good that we've already gotten them banned by Dream Regression Rules, and Infernity Archfiend, oh, Infernity Archfiend. This right here is the Infernity card. It's not likely, but if somebody gets this guy and Infernity Barrier, they're going to play Infernity. We also have some nice old cards, like Smashing Ground, an unconditional removal spell, My Body, an anti-removal spell, Enemy Controller, a versatile stealer, and Decorous Attack, possibly the best control card imaginable for Black Wings. Basically, this opening is completely stacked. Now let's throw it over to Rika to get this started. Hmm. Really? You did the polls on the Dream Draft and then waited how long while you stalled editing the previous episode? No, I understand. Mental health is important. Just why didn't you ask for the footage first if you knew you were getting back to it? You just naturally assumed that you'd still have multiple gigabytes of footage on hand. I see. No, yeah, that's fair. I get it. I think it's weird that you didn't too. Oh well. Let's get this started and okay. Nothing to look forward to here. Although the goblin zombie may be something. Another Shura is actually pretty good for us. Okay, a plague spreader and a Mizuki. I am very happy to see that. Second goblin zombie. My body's nice to see, as is Smashing Ground. This is our first bit of just like normal, straight up, it's a removal card removal for monsters. Second Plague Spreader, all right. We're looking pretty nice. Can I get a third? I can't. I cannot get a third Shura, but that's okay because we got three Plague Spreader Zombie and another Smashing and we got the third Shura. Okay, you know what? Actually, this is looking pretty dang good. And a third Goblin Zombie. I'm very happy. I could just end right there. A Pyramid of Wonders is another thing for a zombie strat. They all, all my zombies get 200 for each monster the opponent controls and if exactly one of them would be destroyed, I can send this to the grave instead. Battery Man Fuel Cell. Hell. Uh, we did pull some Battery Man support, which would have been really nice if we had the same support from Light of Destruction, uh, Battery Man Charger, Short Circuit, etc, etc. However, these right now are just kind of useless support cards. If those cards ever get a reprint, it'd be nice, but we can't use them right now. We did get the cover card, Black Winged Dragon. Never used that card. I don't think there is time I want to summon it over a Thought Ruler Archfiend or Hatsune Miku. We got two Infernity Beetles and three Breaks, one Inferno. We got a Barrier, actually. We did pull an Infernity Barrier. However, as you can see, there's no Mirage here. There's no Infernity Doom Dragon. There's no Avenger. I was really hoping to pull some good Infernity cards, but... Okay, Splendid Rose. So Splendid Rose isn't very good. Its effects aren't that relevant, but what is relevant is that it is a six-star plant synchro. We also got Cherry and Mado. Gen X Neutron is also really big. This is a searcher for machine tuners. This may be a reason to go back into Morphtronics. Ooh, Ally of Justice, I can just stop reading there. Bogart Knight, okay. Now, Dark Soul is what we are really looking for for X-Sabers, but again, we have an X-Saber Synchro. Trust Guardian, that's less good, but another Cherry and Mado. Blackwing Backlash. I have been meaning to look back into birds. Revival Rose. Okay, this is another reason why it may be good that we got the plant. We did pour Ronin Toten, who would have been amazing when we were running frogs, and who knows, maybe we can run a semi-limited version of the frog deck? 
Especially now that we have Treeborn Frog and Ronin Totem. Uh, we got Spore. I don't have good plants. I think Ada got all of them banned. So Spore is not seeing use. We did get Dark Soul and two Bogart Knights. I don't think I really got any Fulham Knights in the past. And I don't have any of the good X Saber Synchros. But these would have been really good for X Sabers. Long story short, this card is never getting used and I'm going to cry. Ah! We're getting into the final set here. Can we get Dark Soul or Breeze the Zephyr? Pyramid of Wonders. Probably not. Well, it seems like we probably can't get those. But wait, wait, what was that? Cards for Black Feathers. Okay, so this card isn't great. Honestly, a Blackwing deck probably would not play this card. But I think we got enough. I am ultimately pretty happy. Even if it's just for the three Plague Spreader Zombie, this was a really great opening. Yeah, there could have been worse stuff, but this does allow us to go... Oh, man, if we went to for a three-peat on plant, that would really be something. And birds are open to us, too. X-Sabers also. And even going back into Morphtronics doesn't seem like the worst idea. After all, our best Morphtronic cards were all at one anyway. I'm not really sure where I'd go with this. Hello? Hello, Mr. YouTube? Are you all still out there? Uh, hi. It's me. Rika, shut up, Oria. It's me, Rika Reedbin. Something, something, office lady, cat girl VTuber. So, we're back with more dream regression. Or maybe we do this once and then... We both get struck down by chemical imbalances in our brains or like the apocalypse. I don't know. It, life is too short to worry about such things. Life is also too short to worry about such things as creative deck building. And that's why I'm bringing this week Six Samurai. So one of our more recent drafts was of the Gold Series packs. Now, the first few gold series just had reprints of really old common cards, including reprints of every six samurai from the original set of the original run that they had. Synchro Era Yu-Gi-Oh! does introduce the legendary six samurai, which are more uh, special summon and synchro based. Those cards are not in our format yet. So we're just doing good old vanilla normal summon six samurai. Because we did so many gold series packs, we got like a whole playset of every six samurai except for Yaichi, I think. So Mystery Cataclysm, as you remember, maybe my favorite my favorite uh dream card in this whole series we've done. It uh it's still in the game. It's still in the game. And there's still a lot of good normal trap cards, including six samurai specific trap cards so i just thought it would be a very good idea to run mystery cataclysm uh six samurai will be the monster court they all have you know decent effects for clearing out cards and just gaining one for one card advantage over time and then mystery cataclysm and the trap lineup they will slowly control any shifts in momentum this is also bolstered by six samurai united a very very good draw card for six samurai some tech cards that we've thrown in. Rose Warrior Revenge. This is just a normal summon warrior tuner. The only reason she's in here is because there is an extremely niche situation where I have a level 3 6 samurai and then I summon Rose Warrior Revenge and then I synchro into X Saber Urbellum and then I use Polymerization to fuse Urbellum with another 6 samurai and then we get Hatsune Miku at Card Games Academy. Otherwise, we just have a nice synchro toolbox here. We do have the unknowable Beyond the Fog as a new synchro option. It's kind of weird to think about this card. It's here just in case, but monsters like Zanji and Iro, and even kind of Yariza in a way, they get around most monsters that you'd have a problem like beating over. The other new card we're using, and by new I mean one of the first week's AI cards, is Vanadium Blade Spirit. This is a level 6 beater, 2200 attack. You just, you can bring it back from your graveyard by shuffling a warrior from your field to your deck. There's not really a great plan with this. It's just a 2200 beat stick that you can bring out of nowhere. The real meat here 
is double-edged sword technique in Return of the Six Samurai. Return of the Six Samurai is like a, it's a whatever. It's a monster reborn that nukes itself at the end of the turn. Double-edged sword technique though is a very good card. You just bring back two Six Samurai and you know, their effects go live because you have another Six Samurai on the field, but they get destroyed at the end of the turn and you take damage equal to their attack. However, summoning two monsters and then like adding 3000 attack points to your direct attack sounds really strong. This is probably more of a you go for game off of this type of play. Six Samurai cards are good, especially in a limited format like this. This week's custom cards, Vanadium Blade Spirit, Fresh Start of course, we're gonna get this thing banned. Mystery Cataclysm of course, I'm hoping to get this thing banned. Daylight Savings is a new card. It's it's funny, okay. Skip you and your opponent's next main phase one. <laughs> and then when it's in the graveyard, you can draw a card by banishing it. Just a funny little card. Uh, consumption as always, this is a nice, nice little get rid of your special summon monsters. Here's the side deck. Here's two Yariza because I needed to get rid of something for trap cards. Uh, scales of Ma'at, the other custom card, Giant Trinade, Book of Moon, Upstart Goblin. We have two Assault Armors in the side deck. This is a fun warrior specific card, and I don't know when I'm ever going to use it. But I just wanted it there. <laughs> you never know, right? Um, we have the other like Floodgate trap cards here from the Dream Draft. Dust Tornado and Fairy Wind if we need spell and trap removal, a trap hole just because I don't want to run it in the main, but it might help. I literally could not think of a 15th card, so we added Kariba. It's cute. Let's hope the duel is fun. Bye bye. When you were partying, I studied the blade. When you were having premarital sex, I mastered chain blocking. While you wasted your days at the gym in pursuit of vanity, I cultivated inner strength. And now that the world is on fire and the worms are at the gates, you have the audacity to come to me for help? <laughs> Very well. Here is my Dream Regression Shining Darkness X Saber deck profile. Uh, yeah, we have X Sabers. Uh, you already saw Airbellum, but uh, Full Helm Knight can summon things by destroying defense position stuff. Palamura can summon itself when any of our Saber stuff is destroyed, and Poshul's an incredible blocker. We don't really need to run off name tuners because these are all fantastic, but Rose Warrior Revenge and Special Summon This are easy level 4 and 5 tuners to expand our players. For non-tuners, Fall Troll is big and modularly converts into level 7 to 9 stuff. Bogart Knight's a play starter. And Raggy Gura recurs up pretty well, especially good to get back Fall Troll or to let us reuse Hyunlei. Uriz isn't great, but Uriz isn't great, but it's a name. And since so much stuff gets X Sabers out of the grave, it does have the ability to make a lock. And last and possibly actually least a snow man eater. It's a 1900 defense man eater bug. It's not bad, but uh, it's, that's not a name. It was really hard to narrow down our spells and traps. We just have too much good stuff. Frequent Stabbings is obviously a killer consistency tool, and with our 5, 1300, and 1600 tuners, a battle tune seemed like an easy inclusion. Minecon, Smashing Ground, MST, and Trunade are all pretty self-explanatory. And Saber Slash is a new one. It destroys anything face up if we control an X-Saber, and if we have multiple, it destroys multiple. However, it's not up to, so if they have less face-up stuff than we have X-Sabers, we'll have to destroy one of our own things. Something to keep in mind. For Chainable Traps, we have Whoopsie, Unassuming Power, and the Widespread Dud still. These plus our own MSTs and Battletoon will prevent blind MSTs from blowing us out. And that's good, because we can profit a lot off of At One with the Sword. Anytime we have just one X-Saber in attack. Anytime we have just one X-Saber in attack, Rika will need to be scared of our stuff suddenly becoming an Air Knight Parsha. Also, Saber Holes is Summon Negation, and Prideful Roar is... Well, since we have so many other high-value targets, maybe this time this will actually resolve. <laughs> also, Gors is here too. In the extra, we have all of our greatest hits, but I do need to make special note of Gloaming Knight, which is a beater that can sync with materials in hand and grave, and Hyunlei, which can just shred any back row strat. 
Sideboard is mostly our old friends. Trapstone and Fairywind will come in if Reek is full of back row again. And my body can be neat too. Frenzied Study is powerful, but it just keeps not coming up, so I'm... I need to confirm that Rika's playing a deck where it's usable before it comes in. And Peladon Synchron is good, but I doubt we'll sight into it since the x Saber tumors are all so cracked. But we'll see how I feel. All in all, I'm very happy with the list. But I know that Rika has some pretty dang good options too. I'm real excited, so let's not wait any longer. It's time to duel. We're back, baby. We're back for real. And there's there's never been any problems and there won't be any problems in the future. Yeah, there have never been problems regarding personal life. So, never. in rock paper scissors, what did you hit? Huh, me? I yeah. I hit the I hit the card. I hit the you card, hit the card. that's going to win. You hit the I card. I hit the winning going, card. You hit the win card. Yeah. I told you I hit the winning card. I'm I'm going to cry. <laughs> I, I, uh, uh, I told you I hit the witty card, Ada. Oh my god, wouldn't this be actually funny? All right, what we're doing it. What could you possibly mean by that? <laughs> I'm setting three cards, and I'm summoning... I'm setting a monster. Oh, sorry, this is all in my main phase one, by the way. Yeah, <clears throat> I see all right. that. All right, I'm ending my turn. It is your turn, Ada Basilisk. Okay, it is my on. turn. Hold on, at the beginning of your turn, I'm paying 2,000 life points to activate a pointer of the Red Lotus. Uh, in response, I'm oh, gonna uh. hit Mystical Space Typhoon and Mystical Space Typhoon. <laughs> oh my god! Okay, well, I don't have a response for that. So there's that card, and there's that card. And then, oh, I was supposed to reveal this as the cost, I guess. Oh so look at that. my good god. <coughs> it's interesting to see that you're on six samurai because... <laughs> hey! Oh, hey. Oh, hmm. Hello, 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 warrior friend. Oh my goodness. Uh, okay, banish that one. Banish Uru's. Banished until the end of the turn. Yeah. Anyway, go! You can go. It's fine. <laughs> yeah, man. It's chill. Okay. This is fine. <laughs> Whatever. You know, totally like there's totally nothing. Just chilling, waiting. All right. So, uh, I'm getting orders back. <clears throat> uh, okay. So I'm flipping six right Iro. Yeah, that makes sense. Let me think. I need to. I need to play around Smashing Ground. Actually, <laughs> this uh, wait. The, the combination of smash of knowing that I have Smashing Ground and Gores is very funny. <laughs> <laughs> uh, um. Let me think. You're allowed to think. Thank you. And I should be allowed to blurt the merest idea if by random whim one occurs to me. <laughs> I wish. Smashing ground targeted because I could just summon Thought Ruler Archfiend and avoid it. That would be funny. However, it's a really good card. Why is it such a good card? I'm summoning Rose. That's I'm fair. Entering, that makes I'm sense. I'm entering, entering my battle phase. Mm hmm. That makes I'm sense too. 1600 directly. I'll hit this button. All right. Rose's effect activates and you take an extra 300. Declare. I legitimately forgot that that was a thing. Same. All right, I'm ending my turn. <laughs> but. But. <sighs> <laughs> Don't <sighs> me. I feel a bit owned. <laughs> Listen, Gores will actually win the game right now. I'm not playing into it if I can avoid it. I mean, that's fair. I'm going to go to main phase one and set the card, baby. The card has been set. I'll also set this card. Uh, Heavy Storm's banned, right? Do you have Heavy Storm in your head? I'm consulting the ancient scrolls. I'm, I'm using the professional technique of setting two cards, including Heavy Storm. Main phase. Okay, so I hope this doesn't bite me in the ass. That's actually so funny. I can't believe this is going to happen. Okay, I'm normal summoning. Six Samurai Camon. I'm gonna enter my battle phase? Yeah. 
gonna have Iroh attack this monster. That, you know, I now that I think about it, um, I didn't read your card effect. <laughs> I made a mistake. Oh no. All right, I'm attacking with Rose for 1600 plus 300 if it goes through. I've made many mistakes here. <laughs> I was gonna say like, why, why I'm attacking Gamma 15. I was why like, the why fuck is did I set these? I just <laughs> forgot that Gores requires you to not control any of cards rather than to not control any monsters. That's what I was confused by. Like, huh? Main phase two. I'm synchro summoning. These two go to the grave. So summon <laughs> Infernity Doom Blaster. <laughs> Since it was synchro summoned and I have no cards in my hand, I can target one card of the field, destroy it, and then you take 800 damage. I'm so mad. I, I <laughs> cannot believe this. <laughs> I'm also just gonna mystical space type food this one. Yeah, that's fucking fine, I guess. Uh. <laughs> I'm ending my turn. You're kidding me, dude. <laughs> oh no. Wow. Wow. I played this game so <laughs> goddamn badly. Cat, cat. Anyway, hello, I'm done siding. Hello. You may choose the turn order. Or you! Yes, I can hear you. Huh. This is an interesting opening hand. Yeah, I bet it is. Go for it. Alright, oh my goodness. Okay, uh... I'm just gonna... Me see one for one destruction. Me go. Hey, it's a book. <laughs> oh, this is actually... Yeah, that's the end of my turn. That's the end of your turn. This is the end of my turn. Okay. Alright, Ada, what do you got? I have X-Saber Arabellum. Uh, that actually has a relevant effect right now. Oh. Yeah, I'm going to attack directly. Uh, yeah, I, yeah, I'll take 1600. Which, uh, hey, you better also discard a card. Shit. Uh, my draw power. Wow, sucks to suck. <laughs> uh, it does. Oh, yeah, I guess I'll set some cards. Multiple cards, okay. And, uh, in my turn. Okay, 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 my turn, my turn. I'm setting one. I'm ending my turn. Huh. All right, I all right. I see. All right, hold on. Uh, go ahead. Don't hold on. Sorry. Mm, battle phase? Uh, I'm just gonna activate Ring of Destruction now, then. I take 1600, and then you take 1600. Well, it's fine. Listen, sometimes we horrendously misplay and lose the game because of it. Sometimes we just don't ever draw a single card and lose the game because of that. <laughs> as soon as I draw a single monster, it's over for you. I'm choosing to believe you for some reason. All right, Ada, your turn. Who would have thought that building a deck with 23 spells and traps would actually mean that you have zero monsters in your deck? <laughs> this is the most Yu-Gi-Oh match of all time. It really is, is the thing. Okay, I'm summoning a monster finally. Six Samurai Camel. I see. I'm going to my battle phase if you have no objections. That's fine. Let me attack this one right here. It's Snowman Eater! Snowman it's Eater! It's Snowman Eater! For some reason, it hasn't been banned yet! <laughs> Snowman Eater is still in here! I checked. I thought it was banned, but I went back and checked, and no, oh it God. rotted in my hand the entire time, and I never played it. <laughs> oh, that's the end of my turn. That's the end of my turn. That's a good turn. <laughs> Snowman Eater! <laughs> the bane of my existence! It's okay, he's banned yeah. now. 
Forever? It is banned. It's banned forever. We'll never see it again. Never ever? Never ever. So, main phase one. Uh-huh. Uh, Fulmhelm Knight. Oh, that, that little critter. Okay. Oh, shit. Yeah. Um, okay. Go ahead. What's so shit? I, I don't remember if Hyunle needs an egg saber tuner or egg saber non-tuners. And I have a lot yeah. of face down cards. Yeah, that makes sense. Uh, anyway, here's X Saber Pashul. This was my other guy. I figured at least one of them had to be Pashul. Do you know what's interesting about this? Huh? I control two or more face up X Saber monsters. Oh my goodness. Uh, please only control one. I mean, don't control that one right there specifically. Well, if you insist. I do insist. Thank you. Yeah, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to sync these. Uh-huh. I'm going to make everybody's favorite card. This one. Cat. A store. Mm-hmm. Ooh. Oh. Battle phase. What is math? Yeah, okay. I'll take 2,200. Cool. Yeah, I'll take 1,300. Cool. Well, I'm glad that we were both able to do things in this. Now, if I lose, I will at least say, hey, my deck had a play. True. Your deck did indeed have a play. It could have had a play game one, too, if I didn't just fuck it up colossally for no goddamn <laughs> reason. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. I'm normal summoning Six Samurai Zanji. Yes? I'm activating Return of the Six Samurai to target my Six Samurai Camon. This guy. Yes? All right. I will now enter the battle phase. Does this accomplish anything? Kind of. All right. Come on is attacking full hum knight. Oh, are you not going to fucking destroy it? Huh? Spell or trap card? There is no face of spell or trap card, Ada. Oh, you're right. It has, <laughs> sorry. I, I didn't realize that this card was bad. It is. However, that's it has... my that's that's my <laughs> fault. That is my oh, fault. My I God. thought that. OK, well, I am going to do this during my damage step. Oh my good! Wait, oh my goodness! I'm actually uh eight hundred. Yeah. So uh, <laughs> this sucks. It's fine. Larry that's from Pokemon can just saw can something something. <laughs> that's a permanent increase. It is. All right, I'm ending my turn. Have fun, Aiden. Can you believe I've had this for this long and I just haven't ever been able to use it? I can believe it. I absolutely believe it. Or you! Okay, well, I'm attacking this with Cataster. I don't want to see any fucking weirdo effect that where you <laughs> increase that thing's attack and... Oh. <laughs> oh, this is actually super funny. So I'm using double-edged sword technique to summon two six samurai from my graveyard. So this kills you, you realize. Yeah, but it's funny. Do you wish to attack my monsters, Ada Basilisk? So I do is the thing. Okay. Now, because I destroyed a defense position monster by battle, I can special summon an X-Saber. Uh-huh. A level four or lower X-Saber. It's important distinction. Oh, you have nothing but tuners in your graveyard. I'm... I don't take the damage if they're not on the field, Ada. Yeah, so that's what I'm thinking. But, like, do you... Are you still destroying them if if there's only one left? Yeah, I would think so. Because you're still taking damage equal to the destroyed monsters attack. Even if only one of them got destroyed. <laughs> there's still the destroyed monsters. That might be true. <sighs> uh, fuck. I wanted to be able to do something funny, but I can't. I think it's pretty funny. Anyway. To, to die. You, you die? <laughs> <laughs> All right, it's game three time. I'm so happy that Snowman Eater is going to be banned. <laughs> do well, you have just, Snowman Eater in your deck, by the way? I do not have Snowman Eater in my deck. Okay, no chance of a super ban. Do you have Gores? Did you put Gores in? Did you forget to put Gores in again? I don't have Gores in this deck. No, I, I, I completely did forget about Gores. It's fine. We always forget about Gores. <laughs> You always forget about Gores, and I always fucking just don't have it come up. Or I did have it come up, but it didn't matter because I'm the stupidest motherfucker alive. <laughs>
Well, I'm going first. Just I cited out like two cards. Cool. Oh my goodness. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Set. Normal summon. Pass turn. I see. You see. I <laughs> did not mean to do that. Thankfully, it's face down. <laughs> I'm like, what? I'm going to be real with you, dog. Yeah? I'm looking at this thing that says, at the start of the damage step, if this card attacked a face down monster, I destroy that monster. And I'm saying... <laughs> All right, we're setting. Is this another like Gore's moment right now? I'm normal summoning. You can't see me shrugging, but <laughs> I'm normal summoning Yariza. Okay. I think the fucked up thing is I actually. Can't. No, you can attack directly with this card. <laughs> I can. I'm entering a metal phase. I'm attacking directly with Yariza. Fucking sick. I take a thousand damage. <laughs> okay. I'm going to end my turn because I don't want to attack it to Gores. God, you're so valid. <laughs> I set a monster. Uh huh. Okay, 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 okay. Main phase one. Do I want to attack into Gores now? I don't know if I do. I'm going to air my battle phase. Okay. I'm attacking directly with Yariza's effect. Christ, I guess so. <laughs> and now I attack the face down monster. Yeah. Hey, it's Palomaro. It's Palomaro. I love Palomaro. Actually, one of my favorite X Saber monster. That's because I like little stupid little monsters that just like bring each other back over and over and over again. Okay. Okay. I got a something. This uh -huh. playable. Ooh, okay, okay, okay. I got an X Saber Uruz. Uh huh. Battle? Uh huh. I will take 600 damage. And then Yariza goes to the graveyard? The grave zone. Got it. The grave zone. Well, it's now my time to fucking bet it all on you not having Smashing Ground in your hand. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Why so many? Okay. I was because I was slow playing because I wanted you to think that I had Gores. Well, you could you successfully tricked me. All right. I'm just going to start the one for one destruction. That's not with Yaichi. Let's destroy that one. Well, wait. No, I. Oh, no. Hold up. I actually am using this one. Oh, okay. I, just, I was, okay, I was lost in thought. I was like, okay, do I want to do this now or do I want to do this later? And then I realized, well, this is just going to destroy stuff. I, I may as well. This is this is my only chance, possibly. Okay. So I am going to saber hole your Yaichi. Okay, that is fine. A-okay, that is goaded with the sauce. Yeah, okay. So I will activate Return of the Six Samurai to bring back Yaichi. Is this okay, Ada Basilisk? Yeah, I guess. Okay. This is not a hard one to return. I will activate the effect. Even if it was, you didn't activate it before. Oh, true, 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 true. I'll destroy that one. I'm legitimately wondering if I... <sighs> Activating if... this would be so fucking stupid. Think of, think of the game state, Ada. I can't do it. I I oh. I want to do it. <laughs> I just just to put it just you know that 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 two hundred higher man. That would be act. real helpful. It would okay. Unironically, that would be helpful. <laughs> okay, battle phase. I'm having Iro attack this this guy right here. Okay, damage step. Are you gonna have another one face down? Oh At shit! One with the sword. Uh, okay, so I'll take seven hundred. But I'll use Iroh's effect to destroy Yaichi instead. Oh, okay. Um, I'll draw a card. You didn't destroy a monster by battle. Isn't that a replacement effect? Uh, it destroys the other thing instead. Yeah, but isn't that like still? A, isn't it still destroyed by battle? Uh, it's destroyed. By it's, isn't effect. it just a replacement effect? It's not its own effect. The thing is still destroyed by battle. So, huh? Oh my God! I don't know. Uh, okay, I don't care anymore. I'm ending my turn. <laughs> I'm like, I Rika, don't... Huh? 
Rika, I don't know the answer to this question. Well, I'm gonna Google this real quick. You can say destroy by battle or destroy by battle. Wait, huh? People are saying destroy by battle. That's a good question, actually. You're you're I can't find anything on it on Google. This is a question for one of those YouTubers who does rulings questions. For now I'm turning off auto draw. Okay. Wouldn't it be funny if it was some kerfuckery like it destroys as a cost? I don't know. I'm going to battle. Uh-huh. I'm attacking. I'm activating Mystical Space Typhoon at this card. They were all combat tricks. Every <laughs> one of them. <laughs> okay, so... Minus 800 plus 1,000. So I take 900 damage. The important thing is you're not drawing more cards. The important thing is I'm not drawing more cards. That is correct. <laughs> they were all combat tricks. Every so one of them. Oh, that's just permanently 2,600. Okay. I think the fucked up part is that actually is very difficult for me to deal with. I'm never going to grow old of this, putting counters on the monster <laughs> for every single attack, defense, gain, whatever. Go for it. Uh, oh, all right. I'm activating fresh start. I control no cards and I have a dead hand right now. To top a deck. To top a deck. To top a deck. That's still not bad. Yeah, shuffle, shuffle. That's still that's still good. That card's shuffle, banned shuffle. now. Fresh start's finally banned. We finally banned lesbians. <laughs> we finally banned lesbians. Lesbians are finally officially not allowed. Oh my god. Okay. Uh, I meant to hit activate on this. Yeah, six samurai united. All normal summon. Six samurai nisashi. This gets a counter. Set, set. I'll enter my battle phase. Yeah, I'll attack into your face down monster. Okay, damage step. What? Okay, let's hear it. Let's see it. Well, it's just, you know, flip monsters. Oh my god! Happen in the damage step, so. I hate this monster. I hate this monster so much, Well, Ada. it's banned now, baby. Good, I never want to see Snowman Eater again. Alright, what's the play? What's the play to? Uh... The play to? I hold on, hold on. In response to that, it's mystery cataclysm time. Now this card is banned. Yeah. So. Wow. This is actually good. Bottomless and compulse, huh? Wow. Yeah. No, that that outs it. <laughs> it does out things. Ugh. I think I think I do have to grab both of those. I can do without the double-edged sword technique. Yeah, grab compulse and bottomless trap hole. Now I can activate. Two trap cards for my hand this turn. Uh, it's funny. It's funny that way. I'm so sorry if you could hear Oreo. All right, battle phase. Uh huh. Uh, I'm gonna compulse Uru's at the beginning of the battle phase just to get it out of the way. Okay. That fellow right there. Oh, it's in my hand now. Attack directly. I'll take 1300. Okay. Yeah, I guess I, I guess I'll end. Okay. All right, all right, all right. My turn. Hmm. I just realized something that I didn't, I had another play I could make. Oh, well. Oh, well. Can I, can I do a thing? Yeah, you want to do a thing? Yeah. This is insignificant. Okay, go ahead. Top of my deck. Yanni. Oh, it's the crow. It's crow. It's the crow. Yeah, so you can fucking bottomless this if you want. Yeah, I think that is the play. I was going to save this specifically for your Hyunlei, but that goes into Black Rose Dragon, and that's just as bad. Yeah. And then it's my turn? Yeah, then it's your turn. So, yeah. So there's my card. I'll summon Iro. This gets a second counter. I send these to Grave to draw two cards. I set one, and uh, Snowman Eater is currently walling me, so I end my turn. Yeah, that's cool like that. Air Bellum. Uh huh. Welcome to Bel Air. Oh yes. right, this is the thing. 
to grave, to grave. Okay. Oh, Flambel Odoquizus. Oh, that actually sucks. All my monsters have low defense. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna attack. Yeah, I'll take 400. I'm glad. I'm glad that you're taking 400. I'm not glad. Okay, my it's turn. It's your turn. By the way, do you have Smashing Ground? I think we're far enough that I don't. I think... can just ask you if you have Smashing Ground. I don't think I have a copy of Smashing Ground. That's cool. I have two. Oh my god. All right, well, I'm setting this. I'm flipping six every I united. I'm summoning. Normal. Normal summoning. Come on. Counter. That's the end of my turn. I got nothing. Later. Hmm. Hmm. This actually doesn't do what I want it to do. Oh well, I'll normal summon X Saber Otis. Uh, okay. Because I already know that if you had Torrential, you would have flipped it a while ago. <laughs> I was actually strongly thinking about attacking in with Otis and using its effect, but I won't. Oh. Compulsive Uter Quizus. Not the worst plan. I love top decking answers to monsters. Yeah, I'll take a hundred. Do you wish to use the effect of Uru's? You know, I won't do that. <laughs> I'll just end turn. Okay. Oreo. Shh. <laughs> God, that's so true. She's a mood. Um, Oreo makes a lot of sense right now. She's spitting facts. Okay. I actually, I mean, I really like the. Hmm. Hmm. We got a thing going on here between us right now. What is the thing? Just what's going on here with the deck building and the gameplay. It is a thing. It's almost like I'm it's a series it. of things. I'm into it. It's fun. Oh, I meant to hit in turn a while ago and didn't. Oh. <laughs> I, was... I hit end phase and then didn't hit in turn. Oh, okay. Uh, normal summon. Yaichi, this gets two counters, I'm sending it, draw two cards. Hey. I just realized that I had a play. It oh, well. <laughs> Ada! All right, I'm ending my turn because I don't have a play, conversely. Cool. I'm going to XX Saber Ragigura. I love the little guy. Okay. Yeah, I think I'll get back uh, Full Helm Knight. Uh-huh. I can special summon this card from my hand. Oh my god. This is still in the game? For some reason. I How? mean, it's not now. Okay, good. But what is in the game is XX Saber Hyunlei. Oh, that's why you didn't summon Hyunlei all that time. I needed an X Saber non-tuner. Uh... Anyway, get rid of them all. They're all gone. Oh my god. I want you to know, I side deck nothing but spell and trap removal, and then you stop using spells and traps. Well, I don't know. Scoot. It's so funny that like, man, you couldn't trap pull any of that. I couldn't. It all evaded trap pull. That's great. Anyway. Yeah, I'll take 300 damage. Yeah, cool. I'm going to uh, tribute this card to put that on top of your oh deck. Oh my god. That's actually the right play, which is the worst part. Yeah, I'll take 2300. <laughs> Not much Go to do it. about it. Hey, I wonder what I drew. <laughs> all right. Wait, what did you fall out? Mm. Do you want to put that monster into defense? <laughs> Ada, this sucks. <laughs> I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna concede it. Please die. All right. Uh, Uruz is a good card. It's like the storm caller of X Uruz Sabers. actually mattered. I was skeptical. I didn't think Uruz's <laughs> effect would ever matter. Nope, that got it. That sealed it. Uh, it's the storm I mean, caller of X Sabers. I think that Hyunlei sealed it, but. Hyunlei definitely, Hyunlei being a body did seal it, but... Oh, that was a good game. That was a good game. Hold on. You know what's... Man, I miss doing this series a lot. Isn't it fun? It's, it's fun. I, man, custom cards are so cool. Okay, you know what I was disappointed that I never drew in all three games was this shit right here. I literally didn't that even draw this. That makes a lot of sense. I was wondering about that. Anyway, <laughs> I, I guess you can special summon this card from your hand is now banned. Uh -huh. I think Carrion Crow might be banned. 
Probably. I think that thing's been in every game. There's been plenty of times I just haven't summoned it. I mean, this time I didn't summon it to summon it. I summoned it to, to kill the bottomless trap hole that I knew about because I didn't want it to deal with it later. Yeah, that makes sense. By the way, huh. you are right. The entire time in my opening hand. <laughs> I figured. I'm like, this is an Ada thing to do. Is to. By the way, I added Full Home Knight back to my hand. Uh huh. But I had a hard draw on the other one for turn. Oh my god. That's right, I have two of these. Oh my god. Well, here's the dead card that was in my hand for a while because you stopped using that spells and checks. That makes sense. I sided into my third MST and my giant true nade. <laughs> I went and built this deck, and then I realized, like, this is actually kind of rough without Grandmaster of the Six Samurai, and I don't even think it was in the gold series that we pulled, so... I was surprised that I was... Because, like, I knew that I wouldn't have the X-Saber Searcher card. <laughs> Dark Souls? Yeah, but, I mean, half of the deck is X-Saber, so... Yeah. But next time, do you know what the next set is? What's the next set? The next set is Duelist Revolution. D-Rev. All right, let's see. What's in Duelist Revolution? Duelist Revolution has Pot of Duality. Duelist oh Revolution has Solemn Warning. Duelist Revolution has the Scraps. Oh, yeah. Scrap Monsters Duelist are pretty Duelist Revolution dope. has Graveyard Funny Lady. Gra Graveyard. Oh, hey. Duel we have Duelist Revolution has... What? We, we have Effect Veiler, too. Yes. All, that's what I was about to say. An Effect Veiler. Getting a functional scrap deck out of this would be really good. Wait, which funny graveyard lady did you mean? What? So when you said we're getting the graveyard funny lady, you didn't mean... That wasn't a metaphor. You literally meant graveyard funny lady. I'm talking about graveyard funny lady. So, okay. So you can... Hey, Rika, it's been three and a half months since we did this. I'm quite a bit better at painting. You are significantly better at painting. Yeah, this looks pretty good. I've been really into digital watercolor brushes. They're so much fun to play with. Do you like this? Do you like the microphone that trails off into a little ghost? Oh, that's what that is. That's so cute. I love that. This Man. is cute. This is good art. You outdone Thank yourself. You. Thank you. I'm trying to <sighs> discourse, right? Like discourse. Discourse around AI art, you know? Trying to do as much painting as I possibly can by myself. Yeah, which makes sense. And I mean, you can special summon this card from your hand. Did have some banger art, however. The you nice, know, you're right, but it's nice, banned now. The, A AI art is banned. So AI you art can't is banned. Use, you can special summon this card from your hand anymore. Yeah. Because it, it's banned for having AI art. Yeah, that's precisely why it's banned. Just like Mystery Cataclysm is banned for similar reasons. God, going back and looking at like the original AI generated cards is wild because the art is so much more uh, surreal. Well, if so like originally I was it was mostly AI art and a little bit of my painting, but it's slowly shifted to being like I have used AI art as an assistive tool and it's mostly my painting. Yeah. And I'm hoping that next one, listen, if you're watching this and you hate AI art, I get it and I understand. I'm a disabled artist, and it, it, using it as an assistive tool helps me drastically in being able to have the stamina to produce pieces. But I'm not just putting in prompts to get these. You couldn't put in a prompt to get Graveyard Funny Lady. Uh, yeah, that's true. I think it's truly something unfathomable by anything other than the messed up, hecked up human mind. So Gloaming Knight is going to be like the last of the fully AI stuff because it Ooh. I literally did generate it for the opening sequence and I I would have felt weird if I had given it a different art. Yeah, but you, you can't go back and change it. I can't change what's already been done, but what I can do is thank this episode's sponsor. But who's the sponsor? I was going to say a sponsor. I had something in mind. I had a very specific bit outlined. But I didn't write it down. Oh I, my god. I, I was thinking about it before we got into this. And I've just completely forgotten about it. So I'm going to say that today's sponsor is Graveyard Funny Lady. Yeah, shout outs to Graveyard Funny Lady. Thank you for sponsoring shout today's out episode. Shout to Graveyard Funny Lady. By the way, we didn't, we didn't evaluate this card at all. You know, it's fine. You, we'll learn all about her next week. I just want to say thank you, Graveyard Funny Lady, for bringing our series back from the graveyard. And letting thank you letting me be a funny lady. Yeah, it all works out. It all works, works out.
Thank you, Graveyard Funny Lady. And thank you, too, for watching this far. I really appreciate all the support. You know, we joke about sponsors, but the truth is, this is a publicly funded broadcast brought to the air by viewers like Oreo. Let's hear it for Rika's cat. Sound off in the comments if pss, 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 or if And until next time, I'll see you in your dreams.